Hi Leo, welcome to your new love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Leo, this is intended for singles wondering about new love, their next potential relationship, um, connection or date or whatever we have here. Could be your future ex. I don't know. We're going to take the energies as it comes. If you do have a connection with somebody, I do have love readings on my channel. You can check the description box below for your playlist to your love in general. You'll find them under the um, love playlist. And those are more for a connection that you do have with somebody. So you f feel free to watch both. You, you can do that if you like. But this is a tenor for singles wondering about new love coming into them in some way, shape, or form. So let's see what we have for Leo, this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective. It's not a private reading. So if you'd like a private reading, all that information is below, as well as a lot of other stuff, decks I'm using, social media. So feel free to check that out. And if you're new, like what you see here, check out my channel. I have different kinds of readings, not just love readings. So there's something for everybody. You like what you see, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you and welcome to the family. So Leo, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So what I'm going to do here, Leo, is I'm going to pull one oracle from each. We're going to get their energy, kind of energy they have, or maybe something they've been through, going through, whatever the energy they're sitting in. And this will be their soul spirit energy with the life purpose. And then romance angels will get their love energy. Put that energy together, clarify it with the tarot. And then we'll see how you would feel about one another. And I may also see how you may meet this person, maybe when. And then we'll see if there will be any blocks, challenges, advice, guidance, possible outcome. So let's see if we have four Leo singles. Spirit, please. Oh, I'm feeling that one already. That was quick. So I'm going to pull these first. Four Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Male or female, general collective. What is this person's spirit and soul energy like for Leo? Okay. All right. Well, I just want one. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All righty. This person may have a strong personality, Leo. They may be very free-spirited. All right. So let's get their love energy. Let's get their love energy for Leo singles. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective, one more shuffle, what is their love energy like for Leos, okay, well that was, you know what, I just had that card for my previous reading, and I don't like to take repeating cards, so let's get one, alright, that one, okay, Spirit said that one, but I did see the attraction card, so you may be attracted to this person, uh, maybe a mutual attraction, or um, that's sort of like my law of attraction card. This, you know, about manifesting and using the law of attraction in some way, shape, or form. So let's see what their energy is like for Leo. So we have here honesty, truth, transparency, sincerity, and communication. We have 31 here, which is four. Four is about stability. I feel like this person may have been like locked down for like a very long time, like unable to speak their truth for a very long time. As you see the keyhole there, and they're holding the key, but yet they're not freeing themselves and unlocking their voice and voicing themselves freely. So they may, may have been in a situation for, I mean, they could have been married um, or something here, but now we have this blue chakra. So I feel like perhaps the throat chakra is now open and now... Um, Communication is a very, very big part of their life. Open, honest, truthful communication. They don't like transparency. They don't like, um, no, they're very sincere. They don't like people that wear masks. You know, it's all about honesty, trust, and truth with this person. That's like the basis of who they are. So they could have been through a situation in the past where maybe if they were married, this person they were with, you know, they caught them in lies, or maybe they just couldn't be who they were. They couldn't, you know, vocalize who they were. They couldn't say, who, you know, what they wanted to say. They could have been involved with someone very controlling. Kind of what I'm getting, because this person looks very worried. But I feel like they broke free, So I see all this energy here. I feel like they finally got the key of their knowledge and was able to break free from that, speak their truths. 
Again, it could be male or female. I know it shows a female here, but let's see what their spirit and soul energy is like. Sensitivity, you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So, I feel like this person was a very sensitive... I feel it was a very sensitive situation or relationship or whatever their situation was. It was a very sensitive issue, very uh, sensitive situ situation, which made them sensitive. So I think, um, or they could just be a very sensitive person. And they don't like harsh energy. They don't like conflict. They don't like um, obnoxious people or anything like that. So I feel like, you know, they could be still in that energy of recovering, recuperating, healing, and moving on from all that, you know, they could be, could have been with someone who was um, verbally abusive or mentally abusive or something like that. So I feel like they're healing because you see this person turn their back on that energy and moving forward. And it looks like they have crystals. I thought maybe they were carrying like the Ace of Swords, but like a wand there. So I feel like they finally grabbed a hold of their situation and now is moving forward away like they grew their wings and moving away because we see blue here, blue here from that energy. But I think they're still a little bit sensitive. So let's see how their love energy is. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So I think this person just like so happy to be free of that energy, like having a new fountain passion for life again, moving forward. And they're just happy and singing with joy that they're finally free from whatever situation they were in. And this person could be a very fiery, passionate person also when it comes to love. You know, likes to sweep that person off their feet or they like to be swept off their feet. However that resonates. So let's get... Um, now it sounds like, oh boy, you know, I don't know if I want to meet this person. It sounds like, you know, that they're troubled or they've been through a lot, but... I see them moving on, growing their wings, and uh, being more uh, honest and open and truthful and sincere. So if anything, I think the past taught them a lot of lessons, growth, expansion, how to communicate clearly, speak up, stand up for themselves, be honest, open and honest, having a newfound for passion and life again, and ready to move forward. Because you see this person, like, looking back on that, like, that was the old me. I'm just going forward now. So this person is just ready to move forward now. So let's clarify this energy of this person for you, Leo. Let's clarify this person's energy for you, Leo. Singles. New love. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, we have the moon energy. So we got Pisces or Cancer. And we got the Nine of Wands, and I felt that energy. Yep, so I feel like they've been through a lot in the past here. And the moon can be about secrets, you know, that kind of energy. So it could have been their person had a lot of secrets. Uh, maybe they didn't really know, you know, the true nature of this person until, you know, it was too late. And, you know, there could have been a lot of passion between, you know, the person they had in the past. But now, again, I feel like they're ready for something new because we have passion here, passion here. Wands are all about passion. I feel like they're looking, you know, looking back on this energy of the past. All the secrets, all the um, disillusionment, everything of the past. Just looking upon that, saying, yeah, I've been through struggles, I've been through fights, battles, but I'm ready to move on. Like this person's looking back at that Ace of Wands, like I'm ready for that brand new beginning. Fiery, passionate that's for life again and I felt that and there's the ace of wands energy so I feel like they're ready for new in their life and they've left the past behind I mean they could have went through this um I'm getting like almost up to a year ago yeah so we have the eight of wands so this is taking action travel um taking fiery passion action movement forward but yet they're being smart practical and wise the Knight of Pentacle energy. So that could be uh, Taurus. So we have Pisces and Taurus so far. A lot of fire here. So I feel like even though, you know, they're ready for a new life, they're ready to move forward, I think they're going to be much more cautious this time, much more careful, wise, smart, practical, not going to rush. They don't want to rush into anything. 
But if they see, you know, come across that person here, they feel they can offer their pentacle to that is worthy of their pentacle, they definitely will take that action. But they're not in a rush. Slow, steady, safe, practical, which is usually the best kind of energy because this is the only knight that finishes the, um, goes across the finish line for the long term. So, you know, they definitely do want a long term relationship in the future. But they're not rushing, yeah, because they've transformed, and I felt that, the death energy here, Scorpio, this person has transformed whatever they were held back of in the past, however they couldn't speak up or speak their mind, now it's all about sincerity and truth and clarity, being, being transparent, I don't know why I said they don't like transparency, I think they like to be able to see things clearly. And they've transformed out of their past, and now they're ready for the future moving forward. we got moving forward and moving forward here. I f and I felt that, turning their back on their past and just moving forward in this new passion, zest for life, in search of this new Ace of Wands, but yet being very cautious and smart and practical and uh, not wanting to rush anything. Just taking it very slow. But they're ready to move forward for something new here. So let's see, Leo, how you would feel about this person. And like I said, if I could see like how you may meet them or a time frame, um, I'll say. All right, so how would Leo feel? Uh, wow, well, there you are, Leo. <laughs> there you are. So they could be a fellow fire sign. Or that's your energy. And the tower. Wow, Aries energy. I think this person is going to hit you like a bolt of lightning, and you're going to feel like a very strong, fiery connection to them. You know, this is strength. You may have to tame yourself how strongly you feel attracted to this person. It's going to come out of, like, nowhere, I feel. There it may actually be, like, a emergency somewhere. They could be a firefighter, and all of a sudden, you know, <laughs> they come in to put a fire out, or it could be a false alarm, and then all of a sudden you see them, and you're like, oh, wow, who's that, you know? Um, as far as what they do, um, not really getting that. I mean, they could work in finances, or they could be a firefighter or something like that. Um, it's kind of when, it, when I'm getting, or emergency services of some kind. But they may come to, you know, rescue or, you know, it could be a false alarm, it could be a fire, or it could be, you know, just something. And they come and you're like, well, who the heck is that? Wow. So we got Leo, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Taurus so far. Let's just get one more for you. Yeah, so you may, <laughs> Page of Wands, so you may actually say something to them. You may approach them with the Page of Wands. That's kind of like fiery, passionate communication. You may flirt with them. Um... But you're going to feel very strongly about this person. And I feel like it's going to come out of nowhere. It's like, surprise, you know, here's this person. And you're like, totally taken by them, I feel. And you're going to feel a very strong, I think, fiery, passionate attraction towards this person. And you may stop flirting, Leo. You may stop flirting, flirting. I see nighttime, or it could be daytime. But something around um, emergency services, like, you know, somebody calls 911 that's a false alarm or, you know, something like that or something around maybe like where you work or just something like that. And I feel like um, there they are. So we got the Knight of Cups, how they feel about you. So I think they're going to reciprocate. I think they're going to reciprocate because this is moving forward in love, offering their cup. And we got the King of Pentacles here. So the Knight of Cups uh, can be... Scorpio, we got the King of Pentacles here, which can be Virgo. Again, so I feel like, yeah, they've transformed and they're ready for something new in their life, being slow, practical, smart, and wise. So now, you know, moving forward as the knight, transforming, and now they're the king. So now they are a king. So now they're strong, they're stable, they've healed, you know, they're standing strong in who they are, their value, their worth. But yet, smart, practical, analytical, and not rushing anything, but they may see you and say, oh, okay, let's see where this goes. So you may flirt, and they may reciprocate with that and stop moving towards you and uh, wanting to, you know, share a little bit of their cup here kind of energy. So let's get one more. 
again, and I said they could work at finances, so I do see, you know, the King of Pentacles here could be someone who's good in finances, work in, works in the financial field of some kind. So we do have the Three of Swords here. Yeah, I think, you know, they've had that past hurt, a lot of pain in the past here, a lot of pain. But this is over right on death, so they healed from that pain in the past. I mean, they don't forget it, but, and they're stable, but that still lingers in their mind just a little bit. So they're going to be cautious and they're going to be slow and practical here. But they do want to move forward. You know, they're ready for new love. They definitely are. So I do have an energy here of, let's see, summer into fall. All right. So, and it could be actually raining. Like, you know, maybe there's a flood or something. I don't know. Just something where some sort of emergency services are called and they could be you know, a firefighter, or a policeman, or something like that. All right, so let's see. Or they could just be good in finances, you know, overall too, or work in finances. I mean, however that resonates, but let's see what the blocks and challenges may be for you. They could have been in the service in the past. Any... Oh, that's way too many. That's like half a deck. What would the blocks and challenges be in this connection for Leo? Six of Swords. So this is about, you know, moving to a better place together. And oh, there you go. Soulmate energy here with the lovers. Uh, not the lovers, the Two of Cups. So definitely could be a soulmate energy here. Queen of Cups. Very loving, caring, nurturing kind of energy. So this is Cancer energy. Two of Swords, Indecisive Energy. Let's get one more for the Blocks and Challenges. And the Magician, Manifesting a New Beginning here, Gemini Virgo. So Blocks, Challenges here would be um, coming into the Soulmate Union is truly expressing love to one another, how you truly feel, words of affection, still maybe Blocks from the past, being a little indecisive and on guard with one's heart to move this forward to a better place of, you know, peace, balance, and healing with the Six of Swords, leaving the past behind and manifest this brand new beginning between the two of you. So this could manifest definitely here to a soulmate connection. There you are, Leo, right here with the lion up above here. You know, the Queen of Cups is very intuitive, you know, so one may be very intuitive knowing, okay, I feel like this is a, my soulmate soulmates here with the two of cups but the other may still be a little bit blocked it could be them although i feel like they're ready to move forward in love or they may think they're ready to move forward in love but then all of a sudden this three of swords comes back to haunt them a little bit it starts to you know once they start to feel deeper emotions and maybe a little bit blocked and decisive because this may resurface from the past a little bit because this is more on their side which would you know kind of halt this from moving forward into manifesting this brand new beginning and I see you over here wanting this soulmate and uh, moving forward with them. And then, you know, this is about expressing how we truly feel. So they may, you know, say, hey, yeah, you know, I do like you, but, you know, I'm a little blocked here. Or there may be a failure to communicate that. Although I do see that they um, are all about communication. But when it comes to love, it may be a little bit harder for them. So if they can totally transform and totally leave this behind and take this blindfold off and put down the swords, this can manifest into a beautiful soulmate energy of peace, harmony, balance, and moving forward together and truly, you know, expressing words of love. You know, here's that caring, compassionate, nurturing, giving, intuitive kind of energy. So that's what I see. So let's see... Um, Let's see, let's see what the possible outcome could be here for you, Leo, in this connection for you, Leo, Leo. They could be divorced too because we do have, you know, an ending there with uh, death and transforming. But let's see here. Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody's still at a stalemate here. Not sure. Three of Wands. Some, someone leaving the other one waiting about an offer here. I feel like you, you know, could... Offer them a little bit more, and then they may leave you waiting. But we do have balance here, or things being unbalanced, and then a painful ending here. So, oh boy. I feel like this, 
you may offer more. Okay, let's do this. Let's, you know, be exclusive. You know, I really, really like you, maybe even love you. And they may leave you waiting. You're wanting more here. Uh, I feel like the past is still going to haunt them here. Maybe feeling, you know, you're at war, you know, with the past haunting them. And here's the past with the painful, heartable ending with the Ten of Swords. So let's see. Uh, let's get a couple more. So is this turning their back? Are they turning their back on Leo? It's saying, I just can't. I thought I was ready. But the past still haunts me and I'm not. My heart's not ready even though I thought I was. Are they going to uh, end it with Leo? Or are they going to... What are they going to do here? Well, there you are, Leo, with the sun. Soulmate Twin Flame Energy. Massive healing. <laughs> Enlightenment, they're going to say. And the Empress. Wow, Leo. You may help to heal them from their painful past. This is you shining your light and your Empress energy. Emperor, Empress energy here. Breath of something new. Standing in your value, your worth. Being, nurturing, giving, nurturing, giving caring, loving, compassionate. Passionate. Stable and grounded. Embodying the whole energy of the deck here. And there you are. Shedding, you know, light. Healing. Enlightenment. Success. Victory. Soulmate. Twin flame. Happy home and family. Everything positive with the sun. So let's get one more. In the world. Yeah, so I think... You know what? I think they're going to finally see here, okay, Leo is my empress. I can finally close out my energy from the past. Leo is an empress, emperor empress, not this person from the past. And they're going to see that with the sun energy and ready to close out that chapter for good of the past and start a whole new chapter with you, Leo. May take some time here, you know, may take some time. But if you're willing to wait for them, because we got waiting here. And waiting, two cards of waiting. Um, soulmate to a flame energy with the sun. So we got Leo again, and then we have Libra Taurus, and then we have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio with the world energy. So let's get some. Oh, bottom of the deck energy. All right, so we have judgment, so Scorpio energy. So doing a review of this whole situation, them doing a life review, relationship review of the past. Forgiving, healing, learning, moving on. Um, this is the angel bringing the soulmates together, blowing the horn, rising, you know, soulmates up here, bringing them together. Healing, forgiveness, resurrection of soulmates, and uh, making a final deci decision and judgment call here, and offering a pentacle here, divinely guided. So they may offer you know, commitment or exclusive, but let's take it slow, practical. Pentacles are very slow, practical, but it's for the long term. St stability, abundance, growth, expansion for the long term here. There's the opportunity there, but there is still some feelings of lack. So at times they may still feel like they're not good enough. Or um, again, this is the energy awaiting over here. You feel like maybe you've been ghosted. Until they finally decide what they want to do. And here they come in with the pentacle. And then we have the temperance angel here. We have Sagittarius. Finally, the angel again. This is like resurrection of soulmates here. Could have had past lives with this person. Temperance angel here. Someone returning. Soulmate energy. Healing. Patience. Kind of energy. Balance. So where there wasn't balance. Now they're coming in. Making that decision to bring balance. And again, offering their pentacle with what? This big pentacle right here. And communicating, I'm ready now to have something stable with you. And let's work on it slow, it's steady, practical, and wise. And being very, very uh, sincere with their offer here. So uh, if you can wait it out, Leo, that's up to you. But I see soulmates, definitely soulmates coming together here. Even though you feel like you may be ghosted by this person. There they are with their offer, long-term commitment here in some way, shape, or form for the future for you, Leo. Wow. Okay, Leo, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.